Nintendo. Okay, this is a letter just for you. And we are to official channel. Here is your video. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a cough. I've been coughing a lot in school. Anyway, Captain Toad. Or Toad in general. What is your purpose in Smash? A human shield. And no daisies do it? If you do not know, Daisy and Peach are basically now echoes. Like, Daisy's now the echo of Princess Peach. And sure, not even argue that. Now they grab. They're about like, yeah, we're ready to fight now. Like, they're about punch you now. And he even uses their little hats. Yes, it's good for my hats. They're not much music. They're hats. I'm just saying. But they're literally confirmed. But they literally use their head like to head bunk you. But other than that, let's take a look at Melee, for example. Princess Peach was in Melee, and his and his first source was a human shield. That's all you get, a human shield for toads. Poor toads. That's a sad face. Don't smile. You know it's sad. But anyway, let's go over the uh, history of toads, and then we'll go over of the moveset, and then... And why they should be a smash, and then something else. Histories of Toads. They've appeared in the first Mario game, Super Mario Bros. And their literal role was just to be like, just be like, thank you, Mario, but our princess is in our castle. Which gets annoying, I know that for sure. But in Super Mario Bros. 2, it was ugly to play with status, but. However, no one really remembers that game. So his real first appearance was in Wario's Woods. However, Toads have been there for like the longest. They may not be playable or stuff, but they hope you will just stand there. Like a boss. Now, um, uh, alright. You want, you want me to tell you something about the Toads? The toads have been first appeared in Wario Woods, and they've, been, and they've kind of been playable. They haven't been playable, but they've been played in the side game, which shows how good they are as actually playable characters. I mean, he even went on the Olympics as a host. And he even did the 100, he even run fast in the 4 times 100 meters. Yeah, toads are, toads are really special, but Captain Toad is a different toad. His first appearance was in Super Mario Galaxy 2, where you will first meet him on like a top of a tree. Captain Toad be like, ah, a bee! But then figure out that he is Mario, and then he will just give you the stars that he has collected. <coughs> <coughs> Not only that. You also find him during a lot in the other games, which you will find him and actually like pick up items and he no like he will literally give you the star that he has found. You even find him in a chest and he gives you the star. So what do you think he does? He literally goes on treasure. And I think he also beat up some enemies. Now toads are very strong. They literally pick up a giant turnip and super and Captain Toad treasure truck, right, man. And Captain Toad are very, are very smart by having your one day. They cannot jump, but they allow this for gamers to think knowledgely. You have one day in mind. You have a you have a character that cannot jump. How you complete this game? And they literally make an entire game out of that. They made bosses and everything. Now, that's the history of Toads. Oh, in order of which Toads Captain Toad appear. Is um, I might be wrong, but here's my order: Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think Super Mario 3D Land, Super Mario World, and of course his own game. And Odyssey, of course. Now, now sure, 
Captain Toad is not really reliable about jumping, but other characters cannot, it's different on sizes, and other characters cannot jump as well, but they've been upgraded to jump. Which, I really like that, that they literally fixed the one mistake. How, how they appear, and how their sizes, and how they jump. So I like how they fix it. And even Bowser. Bowser is really fat. Now, no offense to, like, I don't know, if there literally is a Bowser official channel, like, a Bowser. I'm not insulting him. I'm just saying. He, he's not really a good jumper, but... And we went for he actually upgrade him to actually be a bit more good jumper. And even in Melee and Wii U he also jumps. Which helps other characters that have flaws make them helpful. Well again. <coughs> <coughs> now Sure. What would his moves that be? Now sure he may also be like Princess Peach's move, but Play game of turnips from the ground, but you also have different variety like Mega or Diamond or even some enemies from his own game. Like, I forgot what it's called, but it's an enemy that literally shoots out rocks, and the other one he could give you items and then he get bury other people to the ground if they hit you. Now, not just for his, I know his side special, it could also be. What Warrior Bowser Jr. does, and yes, there are clone smashes, like clone specials. So what would his be? Basically, he will ride a minecart. Yeah, just like how Wario does it, like a boss. He also gets off power. He can learn to stop it, like how Bowser Jr. does it. Now for his final smash, you're gonna love this. Now people say that my they they use Dragodon, but I pick Wingo. Wingo is only a Cat and Toe exclusive. Well, well, Dragodon has been there, has been there in most of the Mario games. So with Wingo, he will literally pick up Captain Toad, and he will spawn turn up his Mega turn up to the ground, which will hit opponents. Think of it as like Zero Zero Seven Final Smash, where he will launch, where she will launch a. Big laser B or Nessus slash Lucas Final Smack where they summon like things to come down on you. Instead of being on the ground, they be high up in the sky. And yeah. That would be a really cool Final Smash. Now sure. If I don't think this is possible. But if they do, this is gonna be funny. No, not really. But if they made Captain Toad, that it echo of Captain Toad. I mean, they already did it with Simon, which they did echo of Richter, which they're kind of both copy each other. So yeah, I hopefully they he makes it in Super Smash Bros. Bye everyone. Psych, I have one more day to talk about. It's Gino from Super from Super Mario Bros. Gino was only appeared in one game, and that is Super Mario RPG. Fun fact about Gino, there was supposed to be a Super Mario RPG 2, but they made it to Paper Mario, which is awesome. So, Gino has been one of the most requested characters. I'm saying this right now, from 1 to 5 of most requested Mario characters. Number 1, Waluigi. Number 2, Gino. Number 3, Paper Mario. Number 4, Captain Toad. And number 5, Daisy. Now, Gino, you could include him, but I don't know how's it going to work. Hold on, hold on one more time. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Now, I don't know how Gino is going to work, but... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say this. He could be a good character as an assist trophy. I'm going to get a whole bunch of hate comments, but I don't like Gino. I feel like he's just going to take more about of what other characters have more chance, like Paper Mario or Captain Toad. I feel like they're going to have a more chance than Gino. I mean, all right. I'm just going to say it right now. This is what this is what I, is my opinion. No need to follow me. No need to hate me. Just this is what my opinion. 
He is a literal talking puppet that comes to life with with stars and then teams up with Mario. After the big bad guys defeat, he turns back to a doll and then the stars go away. That's literally what he is. But hey, who knows? Hopefully, but Masahiro Sakurai, if I'm saying correctly, please, if I beg of you, this little fun guy needs a chance. Please. Now, sure, you already include Daisy with this awesome man. And sure, it's sad that Waluigi's not on Smash, but please, Nintendo, have this little bit one of my most requested characters of all time. Now, please, Nintendo, if you can make him happy, if you can make him happen, I'll be happy. You don't need to include Captain Toda as an Echo or anything like that. You could just have him on Super Smash Bros. as an actual fighter, please. I've been begging you, Nintendo. Just please. If you're watching this, Nintendo, please make this happen. Alright, that's it. Because Toads. I love Toad so much, and if Gino makes it into Smash, but not Captain Toad, I'm going to be furious. They literally have a talkie puppet, and I include a literal definition of a main character. That's appeared in so many games. Just please, Nintendo. Please.